Hello and welcome everyone. We're back in Subnautica. So, we are going to be heading deep today. Um, I've expanded some things a little bit. I have uh, replaced my batteries with ion batteries. Do I have any water? I don't have any water. And I have an emergency stash on the Cyclops along, along with some nutrients. Um, before I get into that though, let's see. Take a look at my habitat here. So you may notice, um, it looks a little different. Some things are in different spaces. That's because when I was playing off camera, um, I dumped in a lava boomerang that was infected uh, with the Cara bacteria. And so the virus. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that, didn't, that didn't go super great. Um, literally all of my creatures got infected, and I had to destroy them. Can you scan the Mesmer, please? Oh, it's still growing. So are you. Sea Crown's grown, though. Looks good. Yeah, so I had to delete all of this and rebuild it, because reasons. <laughs> okay. Reactor's doing well. So, I'm gonna start off uh, doing a couple of things real quick. You know what? Let's get the Seamoth. I'm gonna load up from the plan into Shoshana, the and we'll get Captain. rolling down to the deeps. So we got the Seamoth for this. We'll make a couple of quick little video clips, so if I sound a little weird, or it looks off, it's just because I'm making clips for YouTube real quick. Now you can park this guy in the Cyclops. You can park Seabiscuit in here if you like. Uh, but that kind of doesn't seem worth it. Looking for eggs. Let's see if I can find a gasopod egg. Oh. Another oh, stalker teeth down here? Where's the stalker egg? Another oh, stalker teeth down here, though. starting to hatch. Grab this one first. Infected stalker. Oh, I adjusted some stuff like my camera. Now it doesn't look right. I forgot to put this over here. 
just to refill if I'm working on something out here. I haven't been in a while. Oh, did all my eggs hatch? Jelly Ray, Ampule, Lava Lizard, Crab Squid. Okay. So you found an egg laying around on the ground, like this stalker egg here. You want to know how to hatch it. There's only one thing you have to do. You have to find an alien containment. Uh, there is one in the uh, Degasi base in the Grand Reef, and there is also one in the uh, in some of the data boxes. Yeah, that's trash. You might have noticed while playing Subnautica that you've seen eggs laying around. Uh, the way you get those to hatch is you just put them in an alien containment, like this one. Uh, you can find the alien containment blueprint in either a data box or at the Degasi base at the Deep Grand Reef. So all you have to do is build one, make sure there's enough room in your tank, and drop it. It'll start to wiggle around a little bit, you see it's kind of pulsate from time to time, and uh, then it will hatch and you'll get a little critter. And that's how you hatch eggs. Crab squid is itty bitty. I bet you there's a few over here, as well as some big metal chunks. I want those to be visible in the video. Uh, you might see me wince a little bit from time to time. Um, I'm wearing sleep pants, and yesterday I got my leg cut open by a dishwasher at work, and I had to get three stitches on my knee. Uh, and so every now and then when I move my leg around, it's pulling on the stitches. So, you know, that's super fun. That's why I'm doing that, though. Here we go. I was looking for you, and I couldn't find you. It's too late now, though. dog is outside. Bye. Ooh, snatch that fish up. bunch of stalker teeth are. No. 
I turned the lights off on the sea moth, and I actually saw it happen on the on the laptop, and the the sudden shift in coloration made me glance over there, and I was like, "Oh, it was just me turning the light off." Well, come on now. Am I just gonna have to go get a bunch of metal and drop it in the place that I need it to? So that way, people can see it. So I've sucked down all the metal salvage <laughs> right around my base. You know what? I'll just I'll just hit the scanner. Sorry there, little guy. I'll go back. I'll hit the scan room. I'll find a concentration, and I know I'll find stalker teeth around it. So that's the thing is I've gone through and scooped most of the most of the metal salvage out from where the stalkers have been playing. I think Quarters is downstairs and he thinks we died. It's like I can just hear him. <laughs> He's very unhappy. So tough for now, eh? Get out of here. Oof. Getting chewed up. Just smashing into stupid fish. Could just scan for stalker teeth, but you know. If I can find a bunch of it clumped together. Shouldn't I come this way? Then I can show people how to easily spot where they are. Me. Magmarine, come here. Reginald. And I'll take an Oculus too. Why not? saying earlier about the uh, infected fish. Uh, now, to be safe, before I put any more fish in here, they go in this aquarium for quarantine to make sure that they're not infected. <laughs> so I threw one fish in there and the whole system collapsed. Find a bunch of it clumped together. Be able to show. There's three of you guys around here. into all kinds of stuff. Okay, that's not real close together. That's clumped together. Let me pop out of here. Okay. What did you disconnect? Okay. 
just being stupid. find some big chunks of salvage together. I'm gonna drop some. <laughs> Looks like these are clumped together pretty good, though. I'm mistaken. Yep, I'm mistaken. Alright, we're gonna shut that scan off. scan for stalker teeth and you know what I might just find a bunch of them together on a bunch of salvage that way you know I know they're around salvage and stalkers because that's how the teeth spawn the stalkers play with the metal and it rips a tooth off and then they drop the tooth and then there you go of it real close to me, so a lot of it is just not showing up anymore. throw the salvage down if there's like three or four teeth jammed together. Get out of here. Oh, I got that peeper too. Jelly Shroom Caves. Ooh, there's some over here. There's a couple of them right here. There's some metal salvage around. It'll be perfect. Yep. I'm going to park this here, pointing at it. How is that? Alright, let's turn the scanner off. I 
Oh yeah, at one point I changed out my uh, Ultra Glide fins for uh, Swim Charge fins. Still don't move quite as fast, but I don't have to worry about changing out my batteries 6,000 times. Hello, Noodle. I know. Whoa, 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 hey, you're on my keyboard. I need you to get off my keyboard, but you can sit in my lap, that's fine. But you can't sit on the keyboard. Oof. Watch, watch your step. getting down? What are you doing? I think you should make a decision. You're my way here. Come here. There you go. Seen people asking, where do you find stalker teeth? Well, you come into the uh, kelp forest where stalkers live, and usually there's metal salvage around. Uh, I don't see it anymore. But there's a stalker tooth right there. There's another one right there. Uh, they'll pick up metal salvage and throw it around, and it breaks their teeth off. And they're supposed to regrow them. That's how the game explains it. But that's where you find stalker teeth. See, look, this idiot. Oh, look. Look, there's a bunch of them right here. This is even better. And this piece of metal salvage? Okay. Retry. Redoing it. If you need stalker teeth, come to the kelp forest. You'll see these guys playing with big chunks of uh, metal salvage. It breaks their teeth off. So you'll see them laying on the seabed, sort of nearby. Yep, there he goes. He just dropped one. So, uh, that's where you find stalker teeth. Okay, easy peasy chicken squeezy. So, let me see. No, pen, I need you. Okay, so I did... How to hatch eggs, stalk teeth. Where are diamond, lithium, nickel? Let's see here. Data bank, geological data, shale outcrops, gold, lithium, and diamond. You can find shale outcrops. Bear with me, I'm going to try to get a little fancy here.
So I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to do it one continuous clip. Or I just say where else you can find them. And I'm going to do it in a couple of chopped up pieces. Okay, so there's some shale right here. So we're going to do it in the continuous sheet right here. Let me check data bank. Deeper biomes. Um, you know what? I need to go to the sea treaders before I do this because I need to see if they kick them up. up all kinds of stuff. I think it's mostly shale. I keep wanting to call it uh, basalt because that's what it is in below zero, I think. I could be mistaken. I think that's what it is. After I get a couple of these little clips chopped up, um, then I'm going to uh, actually take us down to the primary containment facility. And we'll work on uh, getting the cure. Do you not have power? Base unpowered. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Why is this base unpowered? Dismantled that and everything reconnected. What in the hell? Welcome aboard, Captain. Good enough, I guess. When I pulled up and the searchlights weren't on, I was like, what's going on here? Sorry. West and a splash south, really. This looks like Grand Reef. Is this the Sea Treader Path? This looks like it. Yeah, this is Sea Treader Path right here. I gotta find me some, though. Usually pretty easy. <laughs> clang, clang, making a bunch of racket. <laughs> oh, there's some. Here we go. What are you guys stirring up? Shale outcrops. Are you moonwalking? Oh, no, you're turning around. broken right now.
bless you, Rex. Bless you again, dog. There's a reef back, and it's swimming through the ocean now. Hey, buddy. Beagle, can you go lay down? Can you lay down on your bed and get out from under my feet, please? Go. Go lay down. Bed. Go. Go. Good boy. Okay, let me check the depth here. And we're gonna turn and burn. advanced materials to upgrade your stuff in Subnautica beyond the gold and silver. You need lithium, diamond, and of course gold. Um, the best place to get those is in basalt outcrops. Damn. I just did it. <laughs> That's an... The hell was that? Shots is too deep. What the hell is that? Hold, hold on just a second. That's not what I wanted.
now. Why are you not focusing on me? Hello? The microphone's been on the whole time. <laughs> Whoops. I thought I had that muted. Don't know what that was. The interstate is real close by, so maybe it was something throatier. I don't, I don't know. Hey. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Ow. Come here, you. I need some food. Get tired. Boomerang. Sorry, bud. You'll need more advanced materials to upgrade your uh, yourself in Subnautica. One of the two of those things are going to be diamond and lithium. And out of shale outcrops, you can get diamond, lithium, and gold. Uh, shale outcrops are found in several different biomes, the jelly shroom caverns, for instance. Uh, the mushroom forest, which is actually not as deep, so you can get there a little earlier. Uh, the Most of the deep biomes are going to have them. So here we go. Diamond, the shale outcrop, and gold. Uh, you can also find them on the sea treader path. The, she the sea treaders uh, kick them up as they're walking. Uh, but that's where you can find lithium and diamond. Sorry, I'm going to sound like an infomercial for a minute. Oof. I mean to do that. Let's go to the mushroom forest. I'll do one there. Because it was a little loud over here. I don't know how my audio is going to come through. I'm going to do this... This will be the last thing that I'm doing uh, up here, and then I'll show kind of where, like, let's see, diamonds, let's see. After I do this, I'll have diamond and lithium done. Nickel and kyanite are going to be the next ones. So I'm going to take the cyclops out. Um, we're going to head down to the depths. I'm just trying to make some quick video clips here keep my YouTube engagement high because my Twitch engagement is not very that's not doing real well I've got a, a couple of subscribers and I get some viewers from time to time but it was much better when I streamed during the day <laughs> so shale outcrop and there's some lithium okay Where do you find lithium and diamond? Uh, you can find them in shale outcrops, which spawn in deeper biomes. Uh, the mushroom forest, the jelly shroom caverns, uh, pretty much anywhere mildly to very deep is going to have them. Uh, lithium and diamond are inside the outcrops, uh, and actually lithium itself spawns here in the mushroom forest, so there's some lithium right here. and. There's one of the shale outcrops. More lithium. You can get diamond and lithium as well as gold out of those. 
But that's uh, where you find them. One of those would be... Go back to the base, we'll load up Shrimple Plan into, Sh into Shoshana and we'll get rolling out. Seamoth. Doesn't matter. She's going to get docked. And then she won't come out for a little while, so I'll have plenty of opportunity to repair it. Alright, Sea Biscuit, let's go. Put that beacon marking the, uh, the scan room on my base so I could get an idea of about how far out it would go. Ow. Stitches are poking through my pants. Dump my inventory. Grab a couple of things. Because I'm going to need them. Grab extra water. Grab these. Convert this into titanium and dump all this. As well as the more advanced materials. Because I'm going to need a lot of materials. After I'm done with this. Got a lot of time and some lithium and some gold. Pack that up. Get some fish food. By that I mean food that are fish or oculus what do I need to scan crab squid crab squid oh you're awful looking I do miss that about the bioreactor Reginald, no. Should have some nutrient blocks on the Cyclops. I know I've got um, storage is empty. Let's board Shoshana. Which the Cyclops, both Shoshana and Shrimple Plan, now have the uh, super nifty. thermal reactor, so I don't have to worry about energy as much. Uh, once we get parked wherever it is we're going to be, 
Uh, I'm gonna yank all the power cells, though. So that way those stupid lava larva don't suck the whole thing dry. Okay, so I've got a couple purple tablets. I need you, and give me some ion cubes. Actually, no, just give me all the ion cubes. If I get more, great. I know I'll get more. Let's turn the internal lights off. Go ahead and power it up. Engine powering up. What is registering? I bet it's crab snakes. I'm gonna stay up over the reef back, so we're gonna drop down near the scan base, and I'm gonna wedge myself into the tiniest opening possible in the Cyclops because that's just how I like to do things. dive procedure. Oh, too fast. If I remember correctly, we popped up just near my scan base. That's not the scan base, that's the thermal reactors for it. The scan base is like right here. Begin dive. Exit cameras. Check for Reapers. So far, so good. I hear one. What the hell is that? Was that a shoal? Big honking lights on. Yeah, see, now the base has power. Okay, so we're gonna sink down a little bit. Check my orientation. Okay, let's press forward a little. And we can, we'll begin the descent. Descent into the depths. Basically, just hold the descend button. There we go. Get a little bit of scrapage. Ooh. Keep on going. Keep on keeping on, baby. Here we go. You can't run silent running for too long. You overheat your engine.
Looks like we're away from threats. Disengaging silent running. Standard speed. Lights on. Dive, baby, dive. Uh, the juvenile ghost leviathan may be just off the starboard side over here. after me hardcore I can put her in flank speed which will ca cause cavitation and attract bigger angrier critters but I can jettison some creature decoys Ooh, get some scrapage I also have the shield defense system those lithium or the ion power cells in this bad boy look we've been running we hadn't even dropped a percentage in power Scan you. I don't want to be down here for 40 minutes looking for nickel. There's some down there in the brine, it looks like. I think there's some. here and then this tunnel goes through this is where the cove tree is I think and it goes even further out I checked the area with the cove tree pretty good but Lead, lead, lead. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, we'll just keep going. 
Welcome to the board, Captain. All systems online. I left the engine running. Hadn't done that in a hot minute. I did park it right where it's going to be getting thermal energy, and it'll charge thermally, so no problemo. sound the horn that just happened. Am I still drifting? It's a magnetite here. Tight. Ghost rays, deep shrooms. I know there's nickel. Granted, I did scoop a bunch of it. There's nickel. Okay. Is that some nickel? If you want to reach the deepest depths of Subnautica, you're going to need nickel. You can find that in the Lost River. Uh, I'm at the Cove Tree currently. Uh, it's a little easier to see it here. Nickel looks like this guy right here. I'll scoop it up. Now the green brine er, earlier in this cave system uh, damages you, but the blue does not. You can just dive right down in here. You can get uranium and uh, look at that. Some more nickel. Um, you can also find it in the actual Lost River area. Um, like I said, it's a little easier to see in here. And the brine doesn't hurt you. And that's where you find nickel. Lighting. Now, off Engine we go. Powering up. I spend most of my time piloting the Cyclops from the cameras because it's so bulky it's hard to see and if you have the option to check uh, from several different angles I'm going to take it it's like right here I'm going to try my best to make sure I don't just clang all over the side of this thing power through. Let's get a little deeper. It 
Mixed up the forward momentum. And we're going to drop like a rock. And crush stuff along the way. Oh, that sounds real bad. Ooh, that sounds bad. Sounds like I'm smashing up against terrain, but there's not any terrain that I'm hitting. It's just fish. <laughs> got a proximity alert from being too close to the wall. I have to be careful here because I don't want the sea emperor or the sea dragon I mean. We haven't seen the sea emperor yet. I keep calling this one the sea emperor but this is the sea dragon. to me. Uh, I'm going to pop out of the Cyclops and power her down. We're going to exit Shoshana for a minute. I'm going to take Shrimple Plan out. And look for some Kyanite. There's some. Crushed up this 1300 meters. sticking to me. Where to find Kyanite? Well, you gotta come down here into the... near the lava castle. You'll see these blue crystal looking pieces here. Uh, there's one closer by in this spot. Um, you have to have the prawn suit drill arm to get it from these deposits. I have seen some small deposits of single pieces of Kyanite in the lava castle where the alien thermal plant is. Um, you'll just drill this. One of, the, one of the big reasons you need one of these. And you'll scoop up some kyanite. And that's where you find kyanite. Jump jet upgrade on this bad boy. Oh, my arm. Up. 
the thermal plant. I may not have to worry about these guys. Sucking all the power out of my uh, Cyclops. I'm still going to worry about it because, well, if enough of them stick to it, it doesn't matter how much power it's generating. It'll make a difference and it will, uh, and it will uh, cause a problem. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to remove a couple of my... I'm going to remove all my good batteries and put a couple of just trash batteries in them. Engine powering down. First, I'm going to go clear the hull. Get rid of these Minoc-looking jerks. Swimming away. What in the hell? How am I getting creep vine clusters? I don't know. Creep vine samples. emergency food. I do have some nutrient blocks. Okay, but there's some fish floating around, so I'll snack on those. Uh, give me you two. drained. Even though I have plenty. Still, though. Alright. Wedge the Cyclops down here. But I'm going to get it destroyed if I do that. Nice try. Oh no! The warper got me! Oh, it's hot. Oh, and I hurt myself when I landed. The blue tablet. Good, I brought one. Terminated. Emperor Egg Fetching Project Terminated. Life Specimens Terminated. 
Evacuate immediately. This is a neat spot. As you control the ion cubes. 